The New Jersey Transit Police Department has three core missions, counterterrorism, crime prevention and suppression, and great service to our customers who use our transportation system. The environment that the New Jersey Transit Police Department operates in is a very challenging one. We're the only statewide transit system in the nation, and we're the third largest transit system in the nation. We move approximately one million people a day on three different modes. Traditional policing, which we did until 9-11, is crime suppression and crime prevention. On 9-11, we discovered very quickly that we would now be accountable for not only traditional policing, but for homeland security. The good news was that although we needed to retrain and retool and re-equip, we didn't need to do much because many of the uh, techniques and uh, skills that you need to be a good police officer in terms of crime prevention and suppression are applicable to uh, terrorism and the prevention of terrorism. Patriot Training is a program that was developed post 9-11. Um, for initially, it was developed for the police department and police officers are in the field for them to observe behaviors that are out of the ordinary for signs of potential terrorist activity. As a fair enforcement officer, like they say, we are the eyes and ears of New Jersey Transit. We see a lot of things out on the trains, at the platforms. We also engage with uh, public awareness campaigns for our commuters. There is a responsibility of the customer to be that person who's engaged, to be aware when they're on the train to make sure that you know, they're making observations, they're reporting their observations. One of the things we've employed recently is the ability to text in a tip. Imagine you're on a rail car and you see something suspicious. You're in an enclosed environment and you may not feel comfortable picking up a phone and having a conversation. Well, it's created a, uh, um, a real-time sequence where, where sometimes uh, a commuter or the public may possibly get caught up in our, uh, our customer service uh, call and information. And this is, this is direct communications with the New Jersey Transit Police. That's coming right to me. And my responsibility is, is to get somebody out there as soon as possible, and that's exactly what you're doing. You're cutting the timeline off, which is, uh, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, safer for everybody. Pre-9-11, uh, we didn't have any canine services. There was no canine units at all within the department. Um, presently, we're up to 14 explosive detection canines and one narcotics detection canine. They're deployed every day at facilities, 24-7. What the intelligence unit does is support the police operations aspect by giving them the most current information that is possible on the counterterrorism side. The information that we put out and the intelligence that we put out allows them to do their job in a more effective and a more efficient manner. We looked at passenger counts, we looked at icon, iconic value, we looked at economic value of a given station, and we deployed our resources there. Through federal funding, we have been able to enhance the CCTV coverage throughout the entire state in terms of mass transit, on heavy rail, on light rail, and even bus. And we're utilizing that to the best of our ability. The nice vision surveillance system that we have uh, basically monitors uh, everything throughout the New Jersey transit system, uh, rail, uh, bus facilities, uh, um, bridges, tunnels, you name it. Um, watches, uh, basically it's our eyes of, uh, of the system. Every person who works for New Jersey Transit, their primary function when they're out there doing their job is the counterterrorism mission. It's something that we take very seriously. One of the things that I'm most proud of as the chief of the New Jersey Transit Police Department is the level of dedication and commitment by the men and women of this police department. They understand how important they are to the safety and security of the million people who use our transportation modes every day. And they've always stepped up and they continue to step up and be the greatest resource that this police department has.